Charles and William thrash out future of monarchy, and there's no way back for Andrew. Prince Charles will grieve for his father in solitude at his Welsh retreat, following peace talks with sons Prince William and Prince Harry. The Prince of Wales is understood to have left Windsor alone for the peace of his Brecon Beacons Cottage in Lwyn I Wyrmod, Land of Rhee, a day after the Duke of Edinburgh's funeral on Saturday. Meanwhile, Charles and William are to map out a new plan for the monarchy after a tumultuous period that ended with Prince Philip's death. The heir, 72, departed after meeting his two sons within the grounds of Windsor Castle, where the family made tender steps towards a reconciliation following Harry and Meghan's bombshell Oprah Winfrey interview. However, there has been no official confirmation from Clarence House. The prince and his eldest son, 38, intend to work with the Queen and their senior advisers on revamping the way the House of Windsor carries out its mission of national unity and continuity with a reduced number of working royals. Backslash. That means sharing out a number of patronages between the remaining royals, deciding how many charities and other organizations the royal family can represent and the number of engagements it can commit to now. A much bigger change is expected when Charles accedes to the throne. But in the short term there may be a bigger role for Prince Edward, 57, and his wife Sophie, 56. The Earl and Countess of Wessex had previously bent up to step into the shoes filled by the departures of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and Prince Andrew, but it has never quite happened. But it is more likely that over the coming years, the number of engagements and charity patronages the royal family take on will gradually decline. Both Charles and William favor a more muscular monarchy that campaigns and helps bring about positive change in society without getting involved in party politics. But a more campaigning style often involves fewer engagements that have higher impact. Charles and William are said to be adamant that there can be no way back for Andrew. Andrew stepped away from royal duties temporarily in November 2019 over his friendship with the late U.S. financier and convicted pedophile Jeffrey Epstein. The 61-year-old, wanted for questioning as a witness by the FBI over claims of a sex ring preying on minors recruited by Epstein has long incurred Charles's disapproval. Several former royal household members had said Charles planned to retire all of his siblings and start his reign with just Camilla, William, Kate, Harry and Meghan supporting him. But Harry and Meghan's withdrawal from royal duties and Andrew's demise may have changed the equation. One source said of Charles, he has a higher regard for his sister, less so for his brothers. But Anne, often the busiest royal, is now 70 and might be 75 when her brother becomes king. Courtiers wonder how many elderly relatives a king in his 70s and his princess consort, Camilla, who is already 73, will need to help them. Edward, who will become Duke of Edinburgh when Charles becomes king, has taken on the mantle of protecting Philip's legacy with the Duke of Edinburgh's award and charity. Meanwhile, Informed sources say there will be no big summit or dramatic strategic decisions for now. Royal insiders say it will be evolution rather than revolution. The Queen, Charles, and William are expected to have regular conversations about tweaking the system and make practical changes, but nothing too radical is expected initially. Their first task will be to reassign the patronages stripped from Harry, 36, and Meghan. 39. William Moran has been tipped to take over from Harry in the prestigious role of Captain General of the Royal Marines, but Charles II is an obvious candidate. There will be less urgency about filling Prince Philip's shoes. The Duke, 99, who died on April 9, was patron of more than 750 organizations. But his passing will have little practical effect on the working of the monarchy because he retired from public duties four years ago and handed over his key patronages. Many of those organizations which did not get a replacement may not have a royal patron in future. The Queen, who will be 95 tomorrow, will continue to gradually reduce her duties, handing over more of them to her family. She is expected to be based increasingly at Windsor Castle even after the pandemic is over, coming to Buckingham Palace and staying overnight only occasionally. Buckingham Palace will remain the official London residence of the monarch and the operational heart of the firm, but it will be a building site for the next five or six years as it undergoes a £369 million refurbishment.